afternoon everybody and welcome back to another one of my vlogs so i did start my vlog earlier but i just didn't like the footage at all um so i was gonna vlog before i went into waitrose and then vlog in waitrose but as i explained when i did the haul like well when i do the haul because you're gonna see that in a minute um it was just so impractical the basket was so heavy but today's vlog is really just talking about the fact that i was although i had like the ice creams on holiday and i had treats and stuff like that I have actually come off holiday losing some weight which I'm not really surprised about because we did lots of walking and my grandma when she did us food her portions were so like good and healthy and everything like that so I've come off holiday thinking I want to continue this path because I want to continue being healthy I want to lose some weight but I'm going to sit down in front of my studio light a bit later on explaining why because I know obviously people that want to lose weight can be very controversial to people um, and like the reason so I'm going to go into full depth later but in a second you're going to see my food haul as I said it's probably the healthiest food haul I've ever done and I'll explain like the prices of the things and everything like that so this is the first video in the very long awaited series of health kick videos because I was going to do this ages ago when Chelsea lived locally to me and it just I just never got around to it so I'm going to start now and yeah obviously I'm just going to put it out there I will be having treat days like I'm meeting up with Chelsea next Saturday and we're probably going to go to McDonald's or Subway or something for lunch now I don't class myself as ruining my like my plan because obviously everything in moderation eating healthily but you can also have the treats here and there and i'll probably appreciate mcdonald's more now that it's going to be a treat and not an everyday occurrence so not that i had it every day anyway but you know what i mean so yeah there will be days when i'm like yeah i'm treating myself but i am going to be treating myself a lot less because treats for me at the moment are just everyday things and that's not what a treat is supposed to be so yeah but anyway carry on watching for the food haul so this is the contents of waitrose i didn't vlog in waitrose because the basket was so heavy and it just yeah it just wasn't practical but i decided to like this is probably the healthiest food haul i've ever done in my life hopefully it'll carry on this way um but this i just got some red grapes um so i got a pint of red grapes i got a quite fairly big punnet of blueberries but i do really like blueberries and my mum got me yogurt so in the food shop they didn't have any like cauliflowers of the size of the broccoli so i just got two baby ones um and i love cauliflower got some broccoli to have with our meal tomorrow i did treat myself to some naughty things but i'm gonna like have little bits at a time instead of just eating them all because it's just not healthy at all to do it that way and then once again these are just sort of like me and my mum can share them or just like put a little amount in a bowl um i got some peppers because of the hummus i've got a pack of essentials waitrose crisps because these are only 95p or six packets um for six packets and i just thought to take to work with my sandwich my crisp fix for the day then i just got another loaf of bread but this is a lot healthier than the general white loaf of bread that i go for and i want to make sandwiches for my lunch for work so yeah that is everything so this is the yogurt my mum got me because they didn't have any big packs. It's just the Yo Valley Greek style honey yogurt, which I love. Um, so I'm going to pop you there while I put this stuff away. Um, peppers, also, my plan is to drink more fluids and not just cola and things like that. So this is just lemon squash with a ice cube in it. And I feel a lot more refreshed. I definitely needed it after going out because it's quite hot outside. But yeah that's my also another part of my plan because i don't drink anywhere near enough fluids that's for sure the quality isn't going to probably be the best, the best but i'm gonna do my i do love myself a pepper i'm gonna have this with my red pepper hummus so I'm going to be doing some work and I do have like a few people that have asked like what sort of laptop do you have it's like a really old style like look how many scratches it's got on it HP Windows 8 I want to say um but I will be like saving up for a new laptop at some point but at the moment this is the like it's doing the job and it like works there's a picture nice picture of my grandma and my granddad at his my granddad's brother's 50th wedding anniversary obviously before everything happened um but yeah, so I'm just going to do some work and yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm sitting in like a corner of my room, which it's literally, I mean, it's so cosy. I think it's the perfect place to sit because I'm like to do work. So I'm actually sitting in a proper chair. It's by like my chest of drawers and then it's also like by my, um, so I'm going to pop you off and probably do a couple of time lapses, but I need to get some stuff done. It's not overdue or anything. I just want to get it done. So I've got a clear slate. Um, but yeah, and then I will sit down and like explain about all the healthy stuff and everything like that. But yeah. So I'm actually going to trim my nails now. It's so gutting, but it's because I'm finding it really hard to type and I need to type, obviously. 
um but yeah i'm gonna do them obviously properly but these were far too long anyway they're nice but they are far too long and nowhere near practical so this is dinner mum's done us a spag bowl with mushrooms i'm so excited to eat this and we're also gonna watch spider-man and then doctor strange so yeah so me and mum well mum's just gone to use the bathroom but me and mum are watching spider-man and i just can't get over how funny he is because i watched um tom holland's lip sync battle and oh my god it was so funny if you have not watched that video you definitely need to it is hilarious he is very flexible but we're watching this and then we're gonna watch doctor strange but i'm going to get my studio light out in just a second and talk to you about like the weight loss and like, like the weight loss i want to achieve and like the healthiness and fitness that i want to achieve um, and the reasons for it because as i said previously like i know it can be very a very controversial topic don't understand oh my god yes oh my god okay so finally sitting down to talk about it all so i do look a bit disgusting my face is quite oily now because it's had pretty much a whole day of wear of my makeup i really like it but i think this is more nighttime glam if i'm being honest but i'm now gonna like explain this whole vlog basically in hopefully under five minutes so I know I have said a lot in the past, I want to get healthy, I want to lose weight, blah dee da, and it's never materialised, it's never happened, because I'm one of those people that says they will do something like that, and do it for a couple of days, maybe even a week, and then give up, and just keep eating the rubbish and the crap that I always eat. Now, I just want to put out there, I'm not judging you if you're a person that likes eating the, all the sort of stuff that I've been eating, because it's personal preference, and trust me, I know how good it tastes, but I want to change my lifestyle. I want to become healthier. I am by no means cutting any of these things out of my life because I think that's just the completely wrong thing to do. Like if that's what, if you want to get healthier and that's what you want to do, you want to cut certain things out of your life and out of your food and you're out of your, like you're out of your diet, that is completely up to you. But for me, I want to resume the normal like term of treats because treats for me tend to be an everyday occurrence i don't really have a definitive difference between treats and normal food to be honest and i want to look forward to having some chocolate or some whatever rather than being so accustomed to eating it all the time and it's just bringing me down because like i'm a lot happier with my figure um than i've ever been before coincidentally um, so it's not because I want to look like an Instagram model or I want to lose so much weight, drop so many sizes. Because of my height, I am nearly six foot. I cannot be, let's say for example, 10 stone five or under because I wouldn't look healthy. I wouldn't look right for my height. Um, so I do have a goal in mind. I'm not going to say that at the moment because I just feel that's a bit too much just for this vlog. But I will be doing a whole video about me and my health journey because as I said, I'm not doing this just to lose loads of weight because I'm not. I'm doing this obviously to lose some weight because that's always great, but just to make my lifestyle a lot more healthier and to make me more a positive person because I've seen the difference. When I went on holiday, with my grandma and my mum, my grandma's a lot more controlled with her portion sizes and the amount she eats and what types of food she eats. And she sort of did that for us last week. And there were times when obviously we had a smaller portion of salad and that's it in the evening. And I wasn't even feeling hungry. Whereas at home I'd have three or four, maybe even more packets of crisps after dinner and before dinner, like combined. So it was just, it was getting on the brand of just being completely ridiculous and I'm obviously wrecking my insides because of the amount of stuff I'm eating and also another way that I eat so much is through comfort eating because when I have really down days I just comfort eat and comfort eat and comfort eat and that's also due to like when I have really bad anxiety days or whatever I try to make myself feel better by comfort eating and it just doesn't work it works initially and then I just feel so bloated and disgusting so I've seen the difference. Last week I felt so positive and I'm feeling positive now. I feel in a good frame of mind. My holidays really refreshed me and just sorted me out and I want to carry on feeling like this. Obviously I'm going to have the occasional down day or I might have occasional days where my anxiety spikes or whatever but that's normal like I'm okay with that but I'm not okay with feeling down all the time and that is also down to the, my diet and what I put in my mouth. 
Um, I do a lot of walking to and from work. I'm very lucky. One of my colleagues, my, one of my colleagues, gives me a lift home from work. If she's going the same way as me, which is really nice of her. I do walk to work. I do quite a lot of walking in my general day to day life. So that sort of balances it out. But I just want to feel more healthy, and I want to start exercising a lot more, like swimming, because at my local sort of sports complex i can get a whole membership of gym swimming rock climbing all of that sort of stuff and sports classes water classes sort of that sort of thing for 35 pounds a month which is a lot but if i use it then it'll be completely worth the money and i've got all the kit i just need to get like a swimming costume and stuff like that um so yeah i just want to say i am not doing this to look like any other person i'm doing this for me i'm not doing it to fit in with society i'm not doing it to try and make myself look better for other people i'm doing this solely for me to feel more confident about myself to feel better as like in myself like as a whole and as a person because i'm not saying i'm not happy with how i look i am really lucky with like my figure and my shape and my build and my legs like i've got long legs i've got that inherited that from my dad's side of the family um, so I am very lucky and I completely appreciate that because I've had so many people going, oh my god, you don't need to change anything, you've got my dream figure, blah da And like, I'm really grateful for those comments because they make me feel good about myself, but then I realise I don't want to change a lot, but I want to change for me, not for anyone else, because I have had loads of judgement before, because I have got quite a few curves, and I'm proud of those curves now, I actually am, like I'm happy about how I look. I just don't like how I feel on the inside. I just don't feel healthy. I feel, I just don't feel good. Yeah, and also I'm planning my meals weekly on this weekly planner that my boss very kindly gave me as part of my birthday presents this year. And I just want to plan out like this week, I've got two days off, which is Thursday and Friday. And I think on Thursday or Friday, I'm meeting up with Chelsea. So keep your eyes peeled for that vlog. But on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I have plan my lunch and my dinner and my breakfast and stuff like that and it's a variety of things um i've got monday i'm having a small meat salad for dinner and a cheese and salad sandwich for lunch and on tuesday i'm having a couscous salad couscous salad with fish for dinner meat salad sandwich for lunch and cereal for breakfast on tuesday and toast for breakfast on monday and on wednesday i'm going to make myself some corn mince wraps with peppers and cheese for dinner and a cheese salad sandwich for lunch which is the same but i'm going to do myself some toast and some fruit for breakfast on wednesday sort of thing so i want to have a variety in a healthy balanced diet i will be doing a series of this so you can follow me along my journey if you want to but yeah that is basically the basis of this vlog um i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because that would be amazing um and click that alarm bell if you haven't um but yeah and also keep your eyes peeled for the truth about my holiday video it sounds a lot more sort of mysterious than it actually is but it just explains my whole holiday because there's a lot that happened good and not so great but yeah i'll see you in my next vlog or video whichever one you watch first bye